Marta Minucci from Argentina. When I was in New York in the 60s, I was working only with mass media. I was creating happenings and performance. I became a kind of hippie here in New York. And when I came back to Argentina, I saw the obelisk so straight. And I say, the world is changing. We have to take the obelisk lying down because it's the way that we can create new universal myth. We are entering the third millennium. We have to do something to demystify those myths. As the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower, the Pyramid of Egypt, the obelisk, all those universal myths where people meet and they get together. First of all, I start with the obelisk lying down that I did at the Sao Paulo Biennale, 1978, where the people walk 74 meters horizontal to watch in TV how the obelisk from Buenos Aires was falling down and flying to Sao Paulo. I decide to demystify the meat, really, the people have to eat the meat. How they should eat it? With the most typical work of this country. So in Argentina, the typical work for Christmas is panettone, Italian panettone. So I create an obelisk with 30,000 fresh panettone, then came the crane, lay down the obelisk, and the people grab it. When I go to a country, I invent something, like when I went to Ireland, I did the same choice tower in bread. The demystification of the Marcelo Tower, where James Joyce wrote Ulysses. I still find Irish people who remember that. Each country has its own myth. Here in New York, I went to the Statue of Liberty, take all the measurements. Yeah, I worked one year doing drawings of the Statue of Liberty lying down, made with the steel structure and iron, and I wrote to McDonald to sponsor it. The idea will be to have lying down in Battery Park another Statue of Liberty of 50 meters long, and the people will walk in, it will be like something to see. So the people from McDonald's will come and cover with pre-cooked hamburgers the whole Statue of Liberty, then the firemen will come and grill it, and then from helicopter, so ketchup, and uh, trucks with bread, and the people will eat the Statue of Liberty. At the moment, the people eat one hamburger from the Statue of Liberty, it becomes culturalized. And the Statue of Liberty eaten by the people will disappear, but will stay on the popular memory, stay in the fantasy land and the imagination world where all things are never disappear. So I was ready to do it. I got some letters, I was really negotiating that, but then the mayor of New York forbid that because say the food could be poisoned and all that. So that was the idea of the Statue of Liberty. I could not do it, but I would like to create in Central Park this Statue of Liberty with metal structure and the people can walk inside and all that. And maybe one day covered with candies or with something that will not poison the people. So maybe it could be done. I would love to do this project. I never go against on my project because time does not exist. So it's the same 1991 that 2014 for me. It's exactly the same. Time does not exist. The ideas always are there and you can do it. They, they are not old ideas. doesn't have old or young ideas. It's always high.